Okay, y'all. So, you know I'm not marking in my reading Bible. So, let me show you what I'm doing for my note system now. Hey, y'all. Um, it's been a while since I updated how I am organizing my study notes. And so, this is a new way that I'm doing it. I got inspired by um, Dr. Criswell and some ladies in one of my Bible groups and came up with this. So if you're like me, if you have been a Christian for many decades, I have a pile of wide margins that are all totally used up and marked up and the ink is smearing on some of the old ones. And I have a box of just notebooks full of notes and I, there's not much rhyme or reason to my notebooks. Um, so I had a method to organize some of my shorter devotional thoughts, but this is bigger. So I wanted to share this with you if you do take a lot of notes and you want to keep up with what you do, um, then here's my system of organization that I'm just starting. And this is actually a new wide margin because it's actually a new used wide margin. It's new to me, but it's not a new wide margin uh, that I am using. So, first of all, this is my notebook that I'm actually keeping all my notes in. Um, for the brothers that are watching, don't let the girly stuff turn you off. It's actually kind of left brain in, in there. <laughs> um, but, so, this is my notebook. I've got my prayers, some of my prayers that I really want to pray um, on my heart while those are on my heart over here. And then these are my memory verses as I did them on index cards as I was learning them. Just, you know, pens and whatnot. Okay, so here we get to the notebook. The first section is memory. And I actually just printed out my memory verses because I've ended up doing the memory verses depending on different translations. And it's just hard to keep it all in one Bible. So um, I just printed them out so I can go back and review the verses as I need to, um, and the chapters. So, okay, so here's where we get interesting. This is the topical reference index, and right now what I've done, and this is just new, I'm not really, I, I've transferred a few little things into here, but mostly this is all new because I've already got record, I'm, I'm trying to do new stuff. <laughs> so this is just from recently for the most part. And what I'm doing is the topic, like heart, I'm giving it an index number. When we just remove the vowels, T is for topic, HRT is heart with the vowels removed, and then what year it is. Now, some topics, like mammon, um, it actually comes across in the um, exposition of Matthew 6.24. So, anyway, so that's, that's that, and then in here, when we turn is actually like my notes, for instance, on heart. And heart has this at the top of the page. So if we go to like the first reference here is Jeremiah 17 9. So if we go here, sorry, I'm not a great one handed camera person. And I've done this in pencil, y'all, just to show you because if you have any ideas how to improve this, now is a great time because I'm not too invested and I can, it can be tweaked. So do tell me if you have a better way of indexing. So anyway, I would go to heart and there that is. And that tells me that I would come right here. And I can read all this. This way, see if I wrote all this in the margin, I'd run out of room. And when I came back and I did another study on heart, I'd have no more room to write. So now I can add as much as I want, and, and all I have to put over here is T Heart 2017, and then um, next time it might be 2.2017.2 or 2018.1. So those are like some of my studies for this time. And then in 
this is what I did. Remember how I showed you that mammon was just in Matthew chapter 6, 24? I just put a note, like a music note, after it, meaning I actually have a note. We can go look at it more. And so then I would come in here, and I would skip the Old Testament and go into the New Testament tab. And... I would find Matthew 6.24, and so here's what I wrote on that, which is way more than I can put in a margin, but this way I maintain a reference. I don't go, because right now I'm going through wide margin Bibles. Hey, sorry, my video cut off. So what, right now I go through a wide margin Bible maybe once every 12 to 24 months. I have the whole thing entirely filled. Um, so I would end up I would end up having close to 10 wide margins in my possession, except for over the years I've had friends that wanted my wide margins when I was done and my notes. Um, and I kind of wish I hadn't given it then, but hopefully it's well used and loved. Um, and they got something out of it and overlooked wherever I was wrong. Um, but I would save it for like me or my kids, you know. Um, but anyway, so I only have a couple that are still filled that I have. And this way um, I can reprint it. I can put more than what's in a margin. But I always have a way of referencing it by either a note, if it is a verse, or the topic. So I'd love to know if you guys have a way to tweak that that you think might be more efficient. And God bless you and savor your savor.